Hey everyone, it's Vince here. Today I want to talk to you all about creating thumbnails within Canva to earn money online. I know that there's some people that want to create their own online businesses out there and I feel like this is a great way to start. Hope you enjoy, let's kick this off. So this is Canva on the Google Play Store. That's right everyone, all you're gonna need is your mobile phone and the Canva application to get started. This is what Canva looks like when you first turn it on. Now something that I wanna get out of the way straight away here is that Canva is a premium software, but it can be used in a free way as well. So technically, while you can pay to get better images and features on their software, you can also upload your own photos and use the free assets as well to create your thumbnails. You can do a lot more than just create thumbnails on Canva, by the way. You can see that you can create Instagram posts, Facebook posts, stories, logos, flyers, posters, videos. It literally just keeps on going and going, which makes this probably one of the best photo editing or even media generating applications on the market today. Now in the search area, we're gonna type in YouTube thumbnails. Here you can see we have over 6,500 thumbnail ideas. So we could technically use any of these thumbnail templates and edit them to suit our needs. Now in today's video, I'm going to create a thumbnail from scratch because I feel like that's what you'll probably need when you get an order through the next method I'll show you on this video. Or you do want to use one of these templates, you're more than welcome to do so. The only thing is on these templates, you may see the paid option. So I just tapped on that one for example there and you can see here that we can edit essentially anything that's on the screen right now. See how I just changed that font into high YouTube? I actually think this is incredible that you can do all this from your mobile phone by the way. Now let's just say I'm happy with this thumbnail and I want to save it to my mobile phone to then sell later on. If you go to the top right corner of the screen, you can tap the down Download button. This is where you'll see the premium features of Canva come out guys and this is where you're going to need to spend real life money or Canva credits to actually purchase the assets within this thumbnail. You can see here that there are three designs that I need to pay Canva credits for for a total of three. It even states don't pay for images, get Canva Pro, unlock these images and 90 million more, start your free trial. You can actually try Canva Pro for free by the way for 14 days before they charge you and if you're curious about how much Canva Pro cost. It cost $18 Australian currency per month or about $165 per year. Now I personally wouldn't worry about paying for any Canva Pro until you're pretty much established with your online business because technically you should be able to do everything you need to with the free version which I'll show you now. Here are all the different templates that we can build off of and as you can see they're actually very professional looking which surprises me a lot. And some of them are actually free to edit as well. So what that means is that we can edit all the assets within that thumbnail and then we can actually save it without having to pay for Canva Pro. So here you can see there's one that says shock face crypto and there's no paid icon. So all the assets in this thumbnail are free. So here you go everyone, this is our little project now. We can edit anything on here. I'm gonna go edit this text. I'm going to type in earn, then I tap on next, type in free, tap on move, and then type in money with an exclamation mark. Just like that, I've already edited my thumbnail and I could easily put that on my YouTube video myself or sell that to a client. Although I wouldn't recommend it because that's very basic. We can even change this little stock chart here. So I just got rid of it. Going to tap the little plus symbol. And now this is where the real fun begins because we can either change up our templates again or towards the bottom of the screen, you can see that we have elements, gallery, uploads, text. I'm going to tap on the elements tab. Here you can see all the various little elements that we can insert into our thumbnail, AKA the graphics guides. I'm going to use this little hand with money. Okay, so the hand with money has now landed in the thumbnail but it looks ridiculous, so we're gonna move it. So I simply tap on the hand with the money and then I can resize it and I can also rotate it. And if you look at the bottom of the screen, we have other options as well. We have replace, effects, filter, adjust, crop, flip, animate, transparency, position, nudge, all these different little features, everyone. We can even lock it in place or link it to another picture. I'm going to simply shrink it down, rotate it, and then place it at the top. And now you can see that I've actually replaced that element that came with the thumbnail originally. Now that looks quite silly to me as well, but I just wanted to show you how it works. Now tapping on the effects button brings up even more options. If we had the pro version, we could remove the backgrounds of any images on the software or even our own images. But as I said, we're on the free version, so we'll skip that for now. We can tap on auto enhance, Auto focus, face retouch, smart mock ups, shadows, 
frames, duotone, photogenic. It literally just keeps on going, guys. You have so many different options. You even have pixelate, funny enough. I'm going to tap on shadows. I'm going to add a glow. And now I can actually change the size of the glow and the actual color of the glow. We can even adjust the blur and transparency here. So I don't want really hardly any transparency because I want it to stand out. And now that money symbol has a glow on it. It is really straightforward. Now that I'm done with this thumbnail, I'm going to tap the download button. Now it's preparing my image. And that's it, everyone. It's now been saved to my phone. And here's the final result. Now I could send that to a client or use it on my own YouTube thumbnails. I still 100% recommend creating it from scratch, by the way, or pretty much removing almost all the elements from an existing one. So then you add your own unique spin to it, especially if people are paying for it. Now, let me create a thumbnail from scratch. Okay, so on the home page of the Canva app, we're going to tap the plus button. Now here's where you can create all types of different assets on Canva, but we're gonna select YouTube thumbnail. You can see it here under my suggested area. If you don't have this under your suggested area, just simply type it in the search bar at the top of the screen, like so. Okay, so now we're starting off with a blank thumbnail. I'm going to tap the plus symbol. Here again is where we can start to import various assets, but we're gonna skip all that and import our own assets. So you go to uploads, and here here is where you can see two images that I personally uploaded from my mobile phone to Canva. Now you might be thinking, why is there bread there? Don't worry, it all comes into play soon. Because for a fake example, let's just say a client wants me to create a thumbnail showing how expensive bread recipes can be. So I'm going to select the money background. Now that it's imported, I can apply any effects. But for the background, I'm just going to stretch it out to cover the whole thumbnail. All right, that looks pretty good. So now that that's done, we're going to reduce the transparency and add a black undertone to it. Going to scroll all the way down to transparency. I'm going to set it to about 50% or so. Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to head all the way back to color at the bottom of the screen, and I'm going to choose the black color. So now you can see we have actually quite a nice situation going on. Now I'm going to add in my bread. So again, tapping on the plus symbol, we can now add in our picture of the bread. This is where Canva really starts to shine because you can see here, we instantly have the bread inserted into the thumbnail. Now all I need to do is position it and add some effect to it. So let me just move it now. Okay, so now I've moved the bread to the bottom of the thumbnail and added some glow to it. Next on the asset area, we're going to choose the text button. Tap on the text button. Here's where you can see hundreds of different texts that you can use on your thumbnail. And I have to say, Canva has some very impressive text options. It actually really does surprise me how well of an application Canva can be for creating assets. I honestly had no idea how powerful this little application is. Keep in mind though, some of these assets are pro assets where you need to have Canva Pro. So just look out for the free ones. I'm going to use the glow text. Okay, so now the text has been inserted. Let me just edit it to say what I want it to say. Let me change the color of it. And there we go, just change it to a nice yellow. But now I want to add some arrows to it. Tapping on the elements tab at the bottom of the screen will take you to the elements area. This is where you can find all the little objects that you want to put into your thumbnail. So I've just typed in arrow and I realize a lot of the photo arrows are all the pro version of Canva. So we're going to go to the basic ones. So this is a bit more better, everyone. These are all free arrows that we can use. Okay, so I've just chose my arrow and now I've just placed two arrows instead of just one. And now I'm going to change the color of the arrows to red. Interesting enough, I couldn't find a way to add a glow to the arrow. It could be because it's not an image. Something that is cool though, if you tap on the more tab at the bottom of the screen while selecting one of your elements, you can actually choose to bring the image to the front or send it to the back. So this is cool for layering your image. But either way, everyone, I'm happy with that basic thumbnail for today's video to show you all. So now you've seen how I've literally created a thumbnail in about five minutes of time. Now we can save it to our phone by tapping that download button at the top of the screen. Now we're preparing the design again. This is what I mean, guys. It's that simple with Canva. It's actually crazy to me, dude. I had no idea it was like this. And now we have two images saved to our phone. And here's the final product again. All right, so now you know the basics of Canva. Where exactly can you go to sell your thumbnails? Let me show you right now. So this is Fiverr, everyone. Fiverr has an application where you can sell your services online to people across the world. This is the official website of Fiverr as well, which I'll show you right now. As you can see here, you have people selling all types of services on Fiverr. And the thing is about Fiverr, guys, as I mentioned, it's literally worldwide. So you can not only sell your thumbnails, but just think of all the things you can do on Canva. Here's one for logo design, for example. 
and we know that you can design logos on Canva. But now let's look at the YouTube thumbnail market on Fiverr. Simply typing in YouTube thumbnail into the search bar brings up hundreds of different thumbnail services. Now this is a good thing and a bad thing. To be completely realistic here, you're going to be going up against other sellers from across the world that are essentially trying to do the same thing that you are at a cheaper price. Now, your goal would be to obviously match or be cheaper than these thumbnail creators and offer better deals. For instance, we have this seller here that says design attractive clickbait YouTube thumbnail. This is what a seller's page looks like on Fiverr and what yours will look like as well once you join up. Now you'll see here, this is the actual job itself. You have three different plans and as you can see, this one here is the basic plan. Underneath that you have what you're offering for the basic plan the price of the basic plan and what is included with the basic plan. You can see here that this person's offering one day delivery, unlimited revisions, one thumbnail, custom designed images and included source file. And this is all for $7.34 each by the way. Now if we check the standard plan, you can see here that the price jumps to $14.68 and they're offering three thumbnails now. But now jumping to the premium offers, you can see here now for seven thumbnails, they're offering $30 worth of real money. Now you just saw how fast I made that thumbnail before, right? And that looked pretty decent for what it was. It was very basic, but it still would do the job if a proper YouTube creator was to purchase it. So for an hour or two's worth of work, you could pump out seven thumbnails for potentially $30 a shot. Keep in mind everyone, this seller is on the low end because Fiverr really starts at $7 or so for a job. We have this seller here that easily has had almost 2,000 sales, by the way, at $30 a pop, guys. So if we had to do 30 times one 1,881, that's the amount of profit that he's potentially made and that's for the people that left a rating. We have no idea how many other people have actually purchased through this seller, but you can see here that there's so much opportunity out there, you just have to try and match or undercut the competitors and offer a service that is just as or higher of quality. You guys just saw this by the way, there is no reason why you cannot create thumbnails that look like these on Canva. Like seriously, these are pretty basic. While this might not be for everyone, I seriously think it's worth just setting up a little store on Fiverr and to offer your services. Because what's the worst that's gonna happen? No one applies, that's it. It's free to set up on Fiverr and it's free to use Canva. So if you have the spare time, I really believe this is worth your while just to have in the background until hopefully you get some people that apply to buy your services. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will make more if you did enjoy. Please remember to check out my website and my YouTube channel and be sure to hit like and subscribe. Thanks guys, see you next time.